Hey guys, we made it. We found a slot where the uh, wind is not good. Look at that wind suck. Wow. So let's go, maiden, this inferno. Let's see how we go. <laughs> this method to make sure if you want to make sure that like you know you're gluing things that needs to be precision aligned here I love the way that Eclipse and use these little square tabs you print this little square tabs here and you slot it in like so and the other one all right. and you've got this beautiful little alignment tabs very simple very easy and then you can see that when you've sort of put them in there, once they settled in, you're pretty sure that your piece is aligned, especially for, for things that are critical that you make the alignment. So we'll glue it in here, put a little bit of glue here, line of glue here. Pretty much slot that in with confidence that I know that this thing is going to glue perfectly straight. All right, so for the Inferno, while I'm not doing a full build video, this is a little trick, right? Because the wire is gonna run through the middle of the uh, booms and it's really hard to access, we don't want this pulling off, right? Regardless, we want this to be pretty strong. Heat shrink, a little bit of heat shrink. And a lot of you probably already know this, but I run through a bit of heat shrink, put it in the middle there, Quick 30 second job, but essentially it makes sure that everything is nice and secure. So there you go, a little bit of a tip. So it took most of the evening, but we got there in the end. Even the uh, ailerons there and the elevator and all the rudder. Yep, she's pretty much made and ready. Just got to decide whether I want to glue the wings or want to just tape it. Uh, there's a not a very good EDF in there, but there, there's some sort of EDF in there. Hopefully there's enough thrust. But there you go, Inferno. See how we go. Just thought I'd do a quick comparison now that I got most of the airframe of the Inferno out. So on the left is the Cobra, Eclipse and Cobra. And on the right is the new Inferno. So, over the top here, that's sort of the size comparison. Very similar size sport jet there, very similar size. Look at that wind suck, wow. So let's go maiden this inferno. See how we go. All right, what settings we got? We got triple rates in the ailerons. Um, ah, I didn't actually change that middle rate, but anyway, we'll change that with about 35% of the elevator of Expo and about 30% on the ailerons. I've also double checked all the um, movements to about 15 millimeters based on Eclipse and suggestions. So we'll see how that roll rate goes. Opening up here, let's open this up. We've got a separate UBEC because I don't know, I've just done a 40 amp ESC. I haven't tested how much ESC power it actually draws. But if the ESC blows up, at least we've got the BEC for our control system so that hopefully we don't just crash into the earth. We've got an ELRS receiver in there. No gyros at all for this first flight. I might put a gyro in this in this flight later, but not for this flight. 
for us here 22 would be in there when i was doing my cg checks and 15 is right up the front here so you'll see that in a second once i put it in this is a uh the 50 millimeter edf like i said i know not much about it but also it doesn't have an intake ring so that's a little bit concerning in terms of my power outputs and what it's going to be like sorry if it's not successful today i don't know a few things to check and a few things to sort of try again but we will get it up in the air and we will do our best to keep it up and do some testing. All right, let's go get our battery. Put it in our plane at the registered marker, the CG. CG is pretty good there. It's balancing pretty nicely. Let's go power it up. Timer wise, I'm going to just put it on three minutes and something. Let's power up the plane. Let's go test our surfaces. We want left up and we have it. We have right up and we have it. We have elevator up and we have it. We have elevator down and we have it. We want rudder left and we have it. We want rudder right and we have it. All ground checks complete. I dare say we are ready for flight. Let's go. Uh, walking out and there's a slight breeze to the south southwest there. Again, nothing to concern ourselves about. Mm, this uh, grass is very... I'm not sure if this will take off on this grass, but we will see. Alright. Let's go. Oh, one thing I'd like to do is a throttle calibration. Let's do that. Actually, I forgot to do that. Full throttle calibration has been done now. Uh, control systems check, I'm pretty sure, has been done, yes. Yes. All right. Oh, maidens, I tell you. All right, let's go. She's up. Need some trim down here. She's very stable. She's pretty good. Now 30% throttle still climbing though. Put that down a bit. Yeah, we're good now. We're down on 30% throttle here. Yep, just a bit of a trimming system here. Into the wind she stems to climb, but... Yeah, about half throttle here at the moment. Not bad. Wind is sort of in this direction as I'm coming along now. There it is. Yeah, when she hits wind, I'm having to uh, push down. She seems to climb up a little bit. That was interesting, so... Let's go. Yeah, having to put that a little bit of forward pressure here under the wind, so... She has a little bit of a propensity to climb at the moment, which is interesting, but let's put this down even more. There we go, how's this? Alright, nothing too crazy because it is a maiden here, so... Alright, let's go for some... It's not bad there, it's pretty good. into the wind here yeah there's the climb there guys I'm not pushing I'm having to push forward elevator there just to get, <laughs> just to show you what that's doing she wants to climb for some odd reason I do not know why let's go into the wind again and let me show you that here's the wind here yeah she wants to climb in here it's an interesting behavior Let's go 
again. She flies all right though, flies all right. Into the wind. It's just a gentle flight here. Roll rate. Yeah, it's pretty good roll rate. Our uh, timer hasn't started for some odd reason, so we'll probably see how we go going back then. We haven't been too aggressive in the throttle though, we are less than half on most most goes here, so I reckon a couple more passes here and we can try and land it before we run out of too much power. Yeah, see when it gets some speed she tends to want to climb. Which is interesting there, but that's okay. Let's get her down. Alright, just gonna quiet down here for the landing. Oh! <laughs> that was a heavy landing, man! <laughs> that was too heavy! <laughs> Ah, uh, let's see how she goes. We might have to glue it. But she's down in one piece, but that was a really, really strong landing. I can see a couple of cracks, but we can fix that. That was not the plane's fault. That was my fault. Um, yep, bit of cracks there, but that's right. We can fix that. Bit of glue. That, let me show you the amount of down trim I've had to put on there was intense. Um, look at that. That's a lot of down trim there, so yeah, interesting. And when she climbs up, she tends to, um, when she goes into the wind, she tends to lift or balloon up, which is very interesting behavior. A lot of down trim seems to be, be required here. I don't know whether that's with my CG or something. Maybe I'll put the CG a little bit more forward just to test that. We'll see check on the next flight and make sure our also our timer want to make sure our timer is also set because the timer didn't run then so as you can see here the point of impact from that landing is here that was totally my fault for that super duper hard landing i should have pulled the elevator up a bit more um yeah uh, let's do some repairs here Alright, so we'll double check her for any few, any more damage anywhere in the airframe. I think everything else is all good. Got some heat in here. Like that. There we go. Alright. Should be ready again. Alright, second flight for the Inferno. And left, right, up, down, left. Alright, okay. Let's go. So just full throttle to get back up and then once you're up there she's seems to be okay. You do have to pull a bit of um forward pressure for that takeoff. Mm, that's pretty good. Another pass here. Let's get her up high and then how does she stall? A bit mushy. Oh, hang on, that wasn't the proper stall test though.
minute flight time. coming from behind me right now have to practice an approach here a bit high but that was a much better landing than before much better I'll take that it's like a snow drop and then at the last minute pull up get that nice little drag yeah it's not bad no further damage yep cool and that was like a just over two minute flight there because I'm being very conservative just to see how we go but hey there you go guys she's flying she was actually pretty gentle um, that flight that uh, climbing behavior I didn't quite observe that um, so yeah Maybe putting the CG the smidgen bit forward seemed to have helped that. Um, on takeoff, like I said, I needed to push forward. Or was it? Oh, to make it climb. Yeah, I need to make it climb. I needed to pull the elevator back to actually make it go up. So, yeah. There she is. She flew. Beautiful. So there we go guys, we got the um, Inferno Maiden and she flies around, a little bit of tweaking there, that uh, climb into the wind there was a little bit interesting but I think it's okay. She flies pretty nice, takes off on grass pretty easily, nice and compact. I reckon she could be faster with a, a better EDF, I don't think I've got the, most ED, um, the best EDF on here right now considering it doesn't even have an intake ring. But uh, yeah, overall, I think this is a, a solid model here from Eclipse and it's very interesting too. As you can see with the twin boom design there, very interesting. So with that, thank you to Eclipse um, for giving me an early access preview. Now Eclipse did give this model to me, full disclosure. But uh, yeah, I'll only tell you exactly how I flew it. As you can see there, you've got my maiden. Um, I think she flies okay. Uh, yeah, I'd like to also try her on a 2200 flight. Um, I, I had a bit of concerns with my ESC. Again, cheap components. That's what you get when you uh, cheap out on components. It was very, very, very hot when I, I came off of a two minute, three minute flight there. So that's a little bit concerning. So I think what I'll do is I'll chuck the better ESC on it, especially when I've got an unknown EDF unit in there. I will use a better ESC on the next flight. I didn't want to push it today because I was concerned about the heat in that ESC. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think, you know, from me, I think this is a damn good plane. Prints really quickly, flies pretty nicely. That had no gyro, so that was pretty good. Um, yeah, big thumbs up. Anyway, thanks. Hope you like and subscribe to the channel and hope you enjoy this content. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.